and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Stitch Fix. This is my Stitch Fix for September. I'm going to open it up. Um, I did ask for some fall items, or at least transitional. If you are unfamiliar with how Stitch Fix works, I'm going to give a quick overview. So Stitch Fix is a subscription styling service where you fill out a profile when you sign up and you pay a styling fee, usually $20 styling fee. But if you use my link in the um, comments in the description, you use that, you will get your first box for free, essentially wiping that styling fee out and you get $25 to shop. So definitely try that. But let's take a look at my box. Again, I asked for some fall and transitional items. So on the top, is my stylist's notes and the paperwork. And in this little envelope will give me um, my styling card, my um, prices and everything, including my stylist notes. Also in the box is the envelope. Anything I don't want will get returned to the post office um, and sent back to Stitch Fix. So that's also there. And then my bundle which looks, you can see the colors, but here are the colors. It looks like some gray, um, some darker floral fall colors, some green, and maybe some like bluish almost. So while I was originally taping this Stitch Fix video, my battery uh, light blinked and my battery died. So I'm back, but I had gotten cut off. Um, I want to go through the items again because originally when I was showing you the items, I feel like I've seen them now and maybe I can give you a better um, understanding of the items. So I'm just going to go through each of the items quickly before I do a try on. The first item is a sleeveless tank and it is by Pale Sky. And it actually has like a rounded, you can see it, it has like a rounded neckline. Um, and the back actually has, I thought originally a cut out, but it appears that the back of this top has this little like keyhole button. I don't know if you can see with the tag, but it has a keyhole button area and that's the back. But this is by Pale Sky and it's a size small. It's very pretty. Um, on a navy blue like background but florals very fall like in the colors um i believe it's like maybe like corally red pink but more fall like in the floral pattern but that is top and item number one from my fix for september and then there is a top by i believe it is colette and in the process of unboxing this and when my battery died this is about two days later I did extend my checkout I actually saw another um, youtuber um, sunshine she opened this top up and she had it it looked like black and white stripes but mine by Colette in a size small actually has like mustardy yellow navy red um, also fall colors I'm undecided if I like this um, stripe versus the black and the white. I probably do have a lot more black and white, so maybe this would be better for me in the end. But it also has a cold shoulder sleeve detail as well. Rounded neckline. Very cute. Um, I could see this being cute with like a front tuck. Definitely. Next up is by pink and it is just a um I believe like a preppy type sweater with these white stripes on the sleeve detail just a plain sweater but kind of um a good sweater to transition into fall it's lightweight it's not too too heavy but a good layering piece nonetheless so there's that. I don't know if you can see when the try on, it looks like the front might be a little bit shorter than the back. 
So like a high-low sweater. And this is also in a size small. And next up, I had asked for some jeans or cargo style pants in an olive color and I've been asking and it appears I finally got a pair of pants in this olive green color. These are by Cosmic Blue Love and they're in a size 27 or a size 4. Um, initially I like them. The only issue, I don't know if you can see, I love these pockets. I would rather just have like a straight pocket for this, but I want to see how they look when they're on. I don't know if that'll accentuate my hips more than I would appreciate or more that wouldn't forgive that area on me, but they're cute nonetheless. And they also have um, nice pockets on the back as well, functioning. And they also have a cuff, they're cuffed on the bottom. They're cute, like I said. Um, and there is one more item. This is the item I believe I got cut off originally. And it is similar to what I'm wearing, a, like a sweater um, coat, very lightweight. This is more in a blue, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a bluish, I thought it was gray originally, but it is a blue color. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it's blue. And this is by Bobo, and it is a size small. And it has pockets down here, so it's kind of cute. Um, all in all, good fall transition box. I am going to get to the try on now and cut to the chase and see how it looks. It is a little darker out today, um, light-wise. I don't know if I need to put on a light to help um, because we're, we're getting the remnants of the rain from Hurricane Dorian here in New York today. But um, just hang on and I'll be back with that try-on for you. I'm back with three of the five items. And I read my stylist's note, by the way, and I paired the three items together that she had in mind in this box to be paired together. So first um, layer is the sweater. This is by Bobo, and this is the Jemmy Brushed Open Pocket Cardigan. And I believe, let me just double check the color. Yes, this is light blue, and it is a size small. So. Let me come closer so you can see. Um, it is very, very comfortable. It's very soft, I have to admit. I don't have any sweaters in this color. Um, let me bring you down so you can see. It's really cute. I don't know if you can see the length, but it's, it's pretty long. It comes down um, mid-thigh, like mid upper leg I should say. Um, pretty much the same all the way around. Has pockets like I said earlier. I mean all in all it's very cute but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I need it. I, I do think it is a good layering piece and I again don't have a sweater in this color. I'm just not sure it's what I'm looking for but um, underneath Maybe I'll show you first the pants and then I'll bring you back up for the top since you're already down. So I'm going to take the sweater off so you can see the green um, khaki pants. These are by, let me double check this, I believe it's Cosmic Blue Love. And these are the Mariah Straight Leg Pant. They're in olive and they're a size 4. Um... They're very, they're pretty high waisted. I don't know if you can see because I do have the top tucked into it. But my belly button is like right here, so it's meeting my belly button. Um, I don't, again, they do have these pockets. I guess pockets aren't terrible. I just, this is not what I pictured with the pockets for like cargo style pants. I don't know. I'm not, they're all right. They're just, they're just all right, to be quite honest. But let me know, you're seeing them on me, what you think. Again, they have the working pockets in the back. Um, I'll bring you down a little bit more so you can see. See, I 
just have them with sandals for today. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of dark. Um, let me see if I can put a light on. Just to, there we go. There we go. They have that little um, cuff down there. They're not terrible. Like I said, I just, I don't know if I'm loving these. This is not what I pictured for um, green olive pants for some reason. I don't know. It's just me. But not, again, not terrible. Not a terrible option. I'm just, I don't know. But anyways, let me bring you up again so you can see the top that she said to put on top with it. So this is the rounded neck top. I will tell you the name in a sec because I'm not holding my stylist note like I should be. Um, this top is the is by Daniel Rain, which I happen to love Daniel Rain. Um, the Albato crew neck top. And again, I put my hair up so you can see because it has that little keyhole in the back. Um, with a little button closure. It's pretty cute. I tucked it. I did a front tuck. I'm going to untuck it so you can see the length. But there's, there's what it looks untucked. Again, I think it's longer in the back. I think it's a little bit of a high-low. It's definitely quite a bit longer in the back. But again, I think this is kind of top that I would definitely do that front tuck with. Um, I like the colors, I will say. And I do think she is right. This is a great layering piece. And that sweater didn't look bad over it because of the blues um, in general. But this is outfit number one. I'll be back. I'm going to switch the tops out and uh, you can take it. Okay, I'm back with the next top in this fix. This is um, item number four out of the five items. This is the Colette, the Romney Cold Shoulder Knit Top. Um, I don't know if you could see the colors. Like I said before, I had mentioned that it had um, some mustard, like a navy blue, maroon, and on like a cream white base. It's really cute. And again, has that cold shoulder detail. Um, I did a front tuck. Bring you down so you can see. So here it is, front tucked, and the length in the back. And if we untuck it, you can see it's pretty much maybe just a little bit longer in the back than the front. But again, I think this is the kind of top that needs that front tuck to give you a little bit more shape. It's cute. And a, definitely a cute layering piece for fall with the fall-like colors that are in it. Um, all in all, pretty, pretty decent. Um, workable for fall, definitely. Hang on, I have one more item and it is the sweater that was left in this fix. So. Okay, here is the last of the clothing items in my September fix. This is the sweater. This is by Pink. And this is the Livia Varsity Stripe Pullover. On the card, I can see they're paired with jeans. I just left on the olive pants for now that came in this fix. But, um, I mean, it again, doable for the fall. Those stripes stripe detail on the sleeve. Let me bring you down so you can see the length. That's where it comes in the front and then like I said in the back it is definitely longer. It's not bad. It's a little clingy in here but I have to be honest I have been watching my diet and my husband and I, we've been walking a lot. So I do feel like not as bad as what it could be 
in here. It's not clinging as bad as I thought it would be. I probably did lose a couple of pounds over the last couple of weeks, which is never a bad thing. But um, yeah, I mean, it's again, it's a sweater. Fall is coming. It probably could work very nicely for the fall. That said, I'm going to um, get changed and come back and do a quick wrap up with you. So hang on and I'll be right back. Hi and welcome back. Now it's time for my wrap up. So I'm going to go through first um, the price and then I'm going to read to you my stylist notes. So for the five items, the stylist pick subtotal is $266. The buy all discount is $66.50. That's 25% off. The order subtotal without tax is $199.50, so around $200 for the five items. That includes um, a pullover sweater, um, those pants, and the um, like little sweater um, cardigan coat. That said, let's read my stylist notes before we go through each item and um, sum this up. So I still have Emma and here is her note. Hey Janine, I'm right there with you easing into that fall state of mind along with pumpkin spice, lightweight cardigans are essential to moving from summer to fall. With that top of mind, I snagged the Jenny cardigan in a light blue. It's oh so soft and has pockets which are truly necessary for busy mom life. Layer it over the albato top and add the Mariah pant using that small front tuck, of course. The blue in the cardigan will pop next to the blues in the blouse. I know you're on the hunt for a cropped olive pant. How do these feel? Could you, could you also keep cool and comfortable this weekend by adding them? Oh, I'm so sorry. You can also keep cool and comfortable this weekend by adding them to the Romney top. How does the cold shoulder style work for you? Lastly, I chose the lightweight Livia pullover for your fall collection. The preppy stripe detail gives the essential fall piece a little boost. Enjoy, XO Emma. Okay, let's let's go through each of the pieces. Um, keeping in mind that right now my budget is a little tight. Um, my dog actually got bit by something in our backyard earlier in the week, our golden retriever, and we had to take her to the vet. And I did have a nice vet. Uh, bill between uh, shots and medicine. Um, I'm not denying her that. I feel I feel terrible. She's still on the mend. Um, but the poor our poor dog had um, like a rash or an allergic reaction. So she's been down and out for a couple of days. Even on the medicine, she's slowly getting better. But that bill kind of hit into my budget on this fix just to. Um, give a little side note as well as um the fact that i don't have any credits this time out i've been lucky the last couple of times to have credits and i also just bought my kids if you missed their um back to school fix i'll leave a link above but i also just spent over 300 dollars for clothes to them so this might be a light one for me but let's go through and i will tell you my thoughts and the prices overall um and pardon alexa go home that is my alexa um but the first item is by daniel rain which everybody knows how much i love daniel rain this is the albato the crew neck top and this is a navy size small 58 dollars. i love this top it's so pretty but i don't know if i have 58 just for a top and mind you I don't have that um, I don't have a styling fee so I don't have $20 even to play with in this box because I have the style pass for the year so I just maybe need a little help from all of you to let me know what you thought looked the best if I do keep anything so again this is a maybe but it's 58 so and it's short sleeves it's a good layering piece but I'm not so sure next up is that cardigan this is by Bobo, and it is, it got cut off on this sheet. It's the Jemmy, the brushed open pocket cardigan in light blue, size small with those nice pockets, 
also $58. Um, it is very soft. It looked nice. Again, I don't have um, a light blue cardigan in my wardrobe. I just don't know if, again, it's going to work with my budget. So again, let me know. I'm putting it to the side, but I could use a little help here. Next up is by Colette and is the Romney Cold Shoulder Knit Top. This is off-white, size small. This actually is the cheapest in the box. This is $34. It's not bad. Again, great layering piece, um, that cute cold shoulder detail. The colors are really pretty. Definitely a maybe. If I had more to my budget, I probably would just buy it, no issue. Next is by Pink. And this is the Livia Varsity Stripe Pullover. This is light gray. It's a size small. And this is 38 Not bad price again. I just don't know if I love this. If I had to say goodbye to something, it might be this. But let me know. You saw it on me. Going to put it to the side for now. Last but not least, these are the Cosmic Blue Love Mariah Straight Leg Pants. These are an olive, a size four, and these are 78. I liked them, but I guess you could tell by my video I didn't love them. Um, they are $78. They're not even a brand I've ever really heard of. If I'm gonna spend $78 on a pair of olive pants, I want it to be at least a brand that I know that I have gotten before that's Maybe a pricier brand for $78. Um, that said, I didn't love them enough, I think, for $78. So I'm going to put them to the side, but I really think I'm not pulling for those right now, sadly. I was really excited when I saw that there were olive pants in this fix. But I am looking, I think, for something a little different. So I think, on that note, I think they are more a no than a yes. Um, I really want something that's more cargo-y and something that, yes, I can style for the fall, but that I can pull for over and over. I don't know if I'd pull for these. Um, that said, that was pretty much my fix. I think I did a decent job. Like I said, right now I do have a budget constraint. Um, that said, if you, once again, if you are not a Stitch Fix member, please don't forget to use that referral code in the comment box because you will get your first Fix Styling fee once again waived and essentially get 25 to shop your own Stitch Fix box. Moreover, if you are a subscriber, I thank you, thank you again so much for uh, hanging out with me for a little bit today and for all of your support. If you aren't, please feel free to hit that subscribe below. Oh my goodness, that subscribe button below. Sorry about that, been a long week. Um, and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I thank you for, um, just spending a little bit of time with me. And now I wish you a magical day and bye for now.